Oh, hi guys. Today we're taking a look at this uh, cool drone. I don't think you guys have ever seen this kind of drone. It looks like an egg, but it can uh, carry some cool footage here. It has a 4K camera and I have it on right now. So let's just go ahead and open up the legs. So pretty much you just need to tap that power button three times here. And there goes the legs. And there it is. It looks pretty cool. So once it's in the air, it uh, retracts the legs automatically. You don't need to do anything. Once you want to land it, just go ahead and click the landing button and it, the legs come out and it lands by itself too. Probably you're thinking where the propellers. So we're, they're just hiding down here. So this thing is very compact and once it's all open, it looks very cool too. Definitely someone's going to be looking at this and the camera is just down here you just remove the cover here so we have the 4k camera so take a look at the top here we have the battery cover so we just press this button here everything pops out you're able to remove the battery put it back on there after it's charged and also at the camera down here we're able to control pretty much everything the great thing about this drone is uh, nothing is gonna go on its way because the legs retract and the blades are up here so nothing is uh, really down here except when you're on it's on N mode or P mode if you're like going really fast it's still gonna pick up a little bit of the side here so you're still gonna see that on the footage other than that it's a uh, pretty cool uh, comparing to other drones where you see the propellers and everything like that on the footage but this it's like you're gonna have to go pretty fast to get that effect Let's go ahead and play some footage of this uh, recorded and uh, you guys can judge the quality for yourself. The overall 4K footage looks great. Um, I have no complaints about that, the images it takes and everything. Uh, there's uh, one little drawback. Um, if it's a little bit windy out there, it tends to move a little bit because of the, when it's closed, it looks like an egg, like there's not gonna be much uh, wind resistance, but once it's open, as you see these open slots here, obviously the wind is gonna be moving this. And it does have the three axis uh, camera here, but it's still, I'm going to show some footage now. You're going to see it still, as you can see, tends to move uh, the camera there a little bit. When we're looking at the distance, I was able to get like half of the distance that's uh, specified on the website. But uh, battery life, you're going to be getting around that 20 minutes. If you're just going to be hovering, it's going to be a little bit less, but if you're like moving, it's going to be around the 20 minute range, which is great. 
I would definitely recommend getting a second battery like as soon as one is done just put the new one in so taking a look at the controller itself so we do have this arm that moves and it's a very solid build which I like and here we do have the P and E options here we're able to choose and the joysticks itself uh, feel very good uh, they feel very solid also we have the buttons out here to return home landing and also to retract the legs and everything else is uh, this button here camera and picture options here here this one the button here will return the camera to the home position and uh, down here we do have the sliders for the three axis camera which uh, do work very well so once you open the app uh, you have the the system preheating here obviously you're gonna need to connect the Wi-Fi to the base station here so right now we see devices connected so begin flying so it does its uh, self-testing here for the sensors SD card and everything right now I don't have the SD card in the aircraft so as you see abnormal so if you forget, forget your SD card in there it will tell you so let's go ahead and close that so the cool thing here is you're able also to move the camera if you just like as you see drag it you're able to move it up down so the three axis camera works very well here we're also able to move the camera with the controllers down here as well so let's just go ahead and take a closer look what we're able to do with the camera here so we have the EV value ISO here so video resolution so I have it set to 4k also we have the auto white balance here as well so if uh, we go down here in the settings so we have the no fly zone height limit uh, so height limit obviously as soon as you get it you want to just put it higher because it's uh, way too low at the 120 meters here and automatic uh, landing threshold so if we go to calibrate the remote controls joystick mode also select channels so this it doesn't have an automatic selection uh, this I'm, I had to play around with a little bit because uh, some channels the distance was not going very far so I had to change the channels a few times just to get it uh, the way I wanted it so here we can see the battery the temperature and all that stuff also the gimbal auto calibrate we have that gimbal mode FPV mode following mode as well so we go down here we have some more options so we have the orbit mode selfie mode following a mode my location origin and uh, I don't know what that says and uh, we have the safe zone as well so if you want to land the aircraft just go ahead and click it to the right or in the remote press it there you're able to cancel that anytime because when the battery gets uh, way too low um, it does tend to return by itself and the landing speed is uh, kind of very slow so I kind of go ahead and just like turn that off and then land it by myself it's a little bit faster that way you're probably thinking did they include a case uh, for, for all of this stuff uh, actually that's a great question because it does come in a very nice case and also it comes in a very nice case to put the extra battery the remote control the base and everything else so it does uh, come with that as we see here really had a fantastic time uh, taking this drone out reviewing it i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i'm gonna be posting some more videos on my instagram and also twitter so if you guys are gonna be interested in that you can go and go ahead and follow me there as well i hope you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like if you guys enjoyed it if not thumbs down see you guys on the next review